Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Bearded Reef. My name's Ross, and on today we're going to be talking about what's happened with the cleanup crew. So, as you'll see in my previous video, if you've already watched that, if not, probably better watch that before this one. Um, I added up a cleanup crew into the tank. Uh, I went to Fishkeeper in Livingston and got a small crew. I got four of the Nasarius snails. I got one of the just the standard rock hermit crabs, and I got two of the Halloween hermit crabs. Um, that's been in the tank now for a couple of days. Um, they're actually doing quite well. Well, you'll find out in a minute, but they're doing quite well. Um, I have been feeding them on um, this crab cuisine, which is from Haraki. Seems to be doing really well. Um, I'll try and catch it on video at some point in the near future, but what happens, as soon as you drop that in, the Nisaria snails pop up out of the sand, come over and start feeding on that. So, obviously the scent's attracting them. It does seem to be working quite well. Um, I just That was the only thing that I bought at the time that was suitable for them, so that's why I bought that. And it seems to be going well. So, um, on to the main kind of reason for this video. Like I say, they've been in for a couple of days, everything seemed fine. Um, one of the Halloween hermit crabs wasn't really moving about much, um, was kind of staying in the same place all the time, wasn't really doing much. Then um, last night I came up the stairs and into the room and I heard a small kind of clicking noise from the tank. Wondered what it was, went over and had a look at it and noticed that both the Halloween hermit crab shells were up against each other. Kind of suspected something was going on, wasn't great. Um, from looking at it, the Halloween crabs they must have been fighting with each other and they were clicking the shells together. Um, I think one of them was trying to get the other one out at the start. So I actually separated them, um, left them as it was, came and checked on them again and found them to be back fighting again. Um, wasn't really anything I could do, there was a couple of spare shells in the tank for them. They were fed, I don't know why they were fighting. So uh, I took a video on my phone, um, it was at night time so the quality is not great because there's blue light in it. But it shows you the actual um, what happened. What ended up happening, um, you'll see in the video if you want to watch it. Apologies the video is not great quality, totally understand if you don't want to watch that but it'll be on straight after this. Um, the smaller of the two hermit crabs pulled the bigger of the two hermit crabs out of its shell and stole its shell, then proceeded to kill it and eat it. So, might not be something you want to watch. The quality of the video is really poor. Um, like I say, it was night time, saw it on my phone. Apologies for that, it's, it's really the best I can do. Um, but yeah, if you want to watch it, I'll start that video now and you can see what happened.
So guys, here's the aftermath of last night's um, attack, shall we say. As you can see, the smaller of the two um, Halloween hammock crabs is tucked away in this nice big new shell. And believe it or not, that was the bigger of the two that is lying dead in the bottom of the tank. And that's the smaller one shell that's sitting at the back there. So, um, if you did watch that video, what had happened there was... This dead crab that's on the, the bed of the tank here was in the bigger shell. The crab in the smaller shell come along um, basically ripped it out and took its shell. That crab there, um, there was a couple of other shells in the tank that it could have went into, um, for some reason didn't want to, and the other hermit crab here um, just come along and killed it and started eating it. So that was last night. Um, this morning is still there, so I think I'm going to pull that dead carcass out the tank this morning and we'll give it a wee clean up so there you go folks that's um that's how it played out that's what happened um i've still got the carcass in the tank so now i'm just going to lift that out and fingers crossed there'll be no more issues with that so yeah just a, a relatively basic video this one just showing you what had happened um again i appreciate everybody with likes the comments um, and everybody that's subscribed if you could subscribe that'd be great and thanks very much guys. Take care. Bye bye.